Today, Iran launched a retaliatory missile attack against U.S. troops in Iraq, and our prayers are with the troops and our allies. But this is when it becomes particularly preposterous that our president is Donald Trump. I mean, we might be at war, and this guy, you know what he's busy with? He's bragging. The president, he gave a doozy of an interview to Rush Limbaugh, during which he claimed, among other things, to have wiped out ISIS, which he has not, and boasted that he was having dinner with Mark Zuckerberg, and Zuckerberg congratulated him for being, quote, number one on Facebook, which is he also is not. <laughs> it's all he, all he cares about is being number one. Our country is being run by the human equivalent of one of those giant foam fingers you see at college football games. <laughs> He's not number one on Facebook, not even in, uh, in the top 20 on Facebook. It's just not true. In fact, this is such a lie, Mark Zuckerberg immediately posted it to Facebook. Uh, we also don't know when or if the dinner, these dinner he said they had, took place. It's entirely possible he just met some guy in a hoodie and assumed it was Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> and the president, by the way, isn't the only one spreading misinformation. A Republican congressman, Paul Gosar of Arizona, this guy, if you're not familiar with this guy, he is the congressman whose own siblings, his brothers and sisters, took out an attack ad against him during the midterms and endorsed his opponents. But yesterday, <laughs> He tweeted this photo of President Obama shaking hands with President Rouhani of Iran with the caption, the world is a better place without these guys in power. And of course, this photo is fake. They not, they, Obama never met the guy, and the guy's still the president of Iran. He's not... So anyway, after multiple people pointed out this error, Gosar doubled down and wrote, number one to the dim-witted reporters like Demedin 11, no one said this wasn't photoshopped. <laughs> No one said the president of Iran was dead. No one said Obama met Rouhani in person. Oh, well, okay. No one said this was in Photoshop. Is that the standard now? You can post whatever thing you want and just leave it to us to figure out if it's photo? Because if that's the case, I have a photo of Paul Gosar <laughs> being spanked by Jared from Subway that I would like a lot of people to see. And here is a, this is not a Photoshop, this is a real photo of Donald Trump happily shaking tiny hands with the guy who ordered the murder of a reporter for the Washington Post. That is not Photoshop. But Facebook is claiming to be cracking down on all this, this fake business. Yesterday, they announced they're planning to ban what are known as deep fake videos. These are videos, you've seen them, they're morphed to make it seem like someone said or did something they didn't. But Facebook should just ban everything besides birthdays and pictures of our exes getting fat. That should be the whole thing. But this is serious stuff. So before the ban on deep fakes takes effect, we wanted to get one in under the wire, specifically this episode of Donald Trump on the show Toddlers and Tiaras. Help push. Brenna gets upset, you know, um, mom gets upset too. I mean, you know, Melissa's upset. Scare dolls. Next up is contestant number four. Brenna is full of drama. There's no way of saying that that's not true. But that is part of her personality. Some people don't like that kind of personality, but those people are jealous. I'm not nervous about that because I know I rock for the stage. That's where the tanning started. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. Give back this holiday season. Buy my new book, The Serious Goose. I wrote it and drew it. All the money I make goes to children's hospitals across the country. And if you don't support that, you are a monster.